I'm gonna give this just a minute. Hopefully my lighting and everything will be okay. So we'll give this just a minute and see if anybody hops on. I am super, super excited to be here. I have some notes. So if you see me kind of looking to my right, that's why, because I have some notes. Hi guys, when you guys hop on, say hi. I don't know if I'll be able to see comments or not. I hope so, I hope so. Hello everybody, hi, hi, hi. So I know most of you are probably like, I have no idea who this person is, um, and that's totally fine. I'm gonna introduce myself as you guys hop on. Hello, comments are working, yay! Hi Kristen, how are you? Hi Zoe, okay. I am a squirrel brain just like everybody else, so I have some notes pinned to my mirror, like behind and next to you guys. So if you see me kind of looking away, that's why. Okay. So hi guys. I know most of you have no idea who I am. My name is Lisa Boyle and I am an exclusive black status presenter. I joined um, December 2015. I hit black within 15 months, March 2017. So within about like 15 months. I absolutely love this company. I'm 39 years old. I live in Buffalo, New York. I hope my team, Team Glam Squad, is hopping on. Hi, guys. All right, so I only have 10 minutes, okay? I only have 10 minutes, and I am horrible at keeping track of time. So we'll see how this goes. I wanted to chat with you guys about sponsoring. One of the biggest things in my business for sponsoring is attraction marketing. It's huge for me. It works, it works, it works. So I'm going to give you guys um, just some pointers and some tips as far as like attraction marketing and sponsoring goes. Um, I am nobody special. I am just a 39 year old mom, ex photographer living in Buffalo, New York. There is nothing extraordinary about me. Okay. Um, I didn't have a ton of followers when I started doing this. I have grown a following, but I'm not somebody who's gone viral. I'm not somebody who has like a huge, huge following, okay? So I just want you to know that as we talk about all of this stuff, okay? So one of my first tips for you guys is going to be to share your life on Facebook. This is so important. You have to be an influencer. You have to become an influencer and make your life influential okay so sharing your life on Facebook um, just document your daily life because I feel like every time I say share your life on Facebook everybody's like but my life is so boring nobody's gonna think that my life is exciting um hello my life is boring my kids are at school all day um, my husband's a postman we don't really go out much like my life is boring so if I can kind of become an influencer then so can you okay so think influencer um, I'm sorry if I'm shaking you guys. I talk with my hands and it shakes like my desk. Um, so become an influencer. Share your daily life. Mom life, anything from mom life to making dinner to your daily workout. I post a lot of like home decor stuff because I love decorating my house. Um, I took my followers through the process of us buying our first home. Your life is influential. You have to start thinking of yourself that way. I think what happens is, is people say, well, I'm not influential. My life isn't exciting. I have nothing to share. So I'm just not going to share. You literally have to share your entire life. Okay. But here's the thing. Cause I get some people that are like, well, I don't want to share everything about my life. Totally get it. I don't share every little thing. When my husband and I are fighting, I don't share about that. I just share about the things I want people to see. But then I also think it's important to be very vulnerable and let people in. So I will post about marriage sometimes. My husband and I will be married 10 years um, next month. So I share about that all the time, just about you know the everyday struggles in marriage. Um, yep, the lifestyle posts are what connect people with you. And that is 100% why I'm telling you this. You need to connect to people. You need to be vulnerable. If you don't wanna share about your kids, you don't have to. If you don't wanna share about your significant other because maybe you don't have the best relationship, you don't have to. But pick some things 
that you can really let people in. Um, again, I shared about the process of buying our first home. I've shared about moving into the home, decorating the home. That gave me so much content. Buying our house and moving gave me so much content. But people related to that, okay? Um, another tip I'm gonna tell you is treat your page like a blog, okay? So whether you work your business from your personal page or a business page or both, I do both. I work my business on a business page and I also work it on my personal page. Um, I do think it's important to have a business page. I treat it as a blog. So I post about beauty stuff. I post about lifestyle stuff. I post about fashion because I love clothing. I post about hair. I post about all sorts of different things because that is where the people are going to connect with me. And then when I make a unique post, those customers are like, okay, I see you post about this once in a while. What is it? You know what I'm saying? So exactly. It's going to make them feel closer to you. My followers feel like they are my best friend and that is my goal. I want these people to feel like we're best friends. I want them to feel like they live in the same town. Um, take them along your journey. Okay. Post good content, stuff that people will share. Okay. This is another huge, huge tip. You guys post good content, stuff that people will share. So for example, and again, you make this work for you. When Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga did their performance at the Academy Awards, I went to one of the big pages that had posted like the performance and I downloaded that and shared the content on my beauty page. I got so many shares from that and because I knew people were going to want to see that. So yeah, treat it as if it's a blog. Isn't that a great tip? and then post really good content that people will want to share. I post really funny like parenting memes. I post really funny um, makeup memes. Things that I know people are going to share because sharing is free advertising, you guys. It's free advertising. Um, Okay, so I know that that's not like directly linked to sponsoring, but this is how I sponsor. It's all through attraction marketing. Um, talk about the opportunity every single day. So because I'm putting out all this content and I'm putting out that attraction marketing and I'm getting people to relate to me and people are sharing my stuff, I make sure to try to talk about the opportunity every single day in different ways, okay? So I might make a post about being able to not have to go to work because of Unique. I post about, um, you know, the things that Unique helps me pay for, um, the fact that it pays my whole mortgage every month. You know, you have to mix it up in the way that you talk about the opportunity, and that's exactly right, Randy. You bring them in with the lifestyle and the other content, and then while you have their attention, you talk about the opportunity. So every, I try to go live, and don't like mark my words on this, but I try to go live once a week, or I'm sorry, every day during the week on my business page, and every live I talk about the opportunity while I'm doing my makeup I talk about the opportunity um, you have to find creative ways to share about that maybe you're new and you don't make a whole lot of money yet that's okay share what it is doing for you is it boosting your confidence is it um, getting you new friendships is it um, providing you with free makeup whatever it is that it's doing for you you have to share about that and mix it up with different ways so that you can share about it every day okay um, I already said attraction marketing even if you think your life is boring share about um, share about the opportunity go live I know that it's super scary but I'm telling you I did an experiment recently on my business page where I let it go and I kind of stopped sharing from there because it wasn't getting it wasn't getting enough attention. I devoted 3 months to really really focusing on working my business page and if you really devote the time and you go live con consistently and you post there consistently it will pay off, I promise you. You just have to post good content. Um Okay, so this leads me back to um, talk about the opportunity every single day. Don't be afraid to message people. The worst thing that's going to happen is they tell you no. It's okay. You have to get used to hearing the word no. I've been doing this for over three years. People tell me no all the time. You have to be okay with hearing the word no. It's part of this business and it doesn't mean no forever. It just means no right now. Trust me on that. I've had people I asked to join me three years ago that are now coming to me and wanting to sign up. 
it doesn't mean no forever, okay? It's okay, I promise. You're planting seeds. Anytime you have a conversation with someone about the opportunity, you're planting a seed in their head. They're going to be thinking about it. Messaging is key, Amber, 100%. So don't be afraid to message people. Be confident in what you have to offer. Don't make it about you. And I know you guys have heard this a million times. And I it didn't click for me. For like the first year i was just like i need people to join my team join my team join my team join my team you can't make it about you you have to make it about them so when i message people i really am super genuine that is what my followers love most about me is i am very genuine i'm very down to earth i am myself and when i message people about the opportunity it i'm genuine and it shows you can't just be all about you you can't just be all about my team um I'm going to give you some tips, Joe, but you have to make it about them. You have an amazing opportunity to offer them. What is it going to do for them? Okay. Um, be confident in that. You do have to be super, super, super confident when you're messaging someone about sponsoring. You can't be like, oh, but it's okay if, if it's not for you. You just, you got to be super confident. Okay. Step into that role and send genuine messages. Um, so when I message somebody, so here's another tip for you guys. I'm trying to give you, I hope these are helpful. If this is helpful, give me some hearts, okay? So what, what I do is talk about the opportunity every day in my posts, in my lives, so many different ways, okay? And if I see somebody like it or they comment on it, I'm sending them a message, guys. I'm not being spammy. I'm not going to scare them away. I'm going to be super genuine and I use my voice. I am a closet I shouldn't say closet but I am a voice messenger like that's what I do not only is it quick and easy for me to use voice messenger but my excitement and my genuineness can really come through so when I message somebody um, you know and you have to find what works for you and your personality I know that some people say don't say hey girl I am a hey girl kind of girl like that's who I am when I'm talking to my friends it's hey girl um, but you do want to be careful about the language that you use. So when I message somebody, maybe they just liked my live or they liked my post about making extra money, I will send them a voice message and here is what I say. Hey Joanne, thank you so much for watching my live today and throwing me a comment. Your support means the world to me. Have you ever thought about joining and doing what I do? That's all I say, and I use it, and I do it in a voice message. It's not always those exact words. It's not always those exact words, and I might switch it up depending on who I'm talking to. If it's somebody that I've had a little bit of a rapport with in a private message already, then I'll say, hey girl, thanks so much for watching my video. I'm so glad you're still following along with my daily blog. Um, if you ever have questions, let me know. And I'm just dying to know if you've ever thought about doing what I do. You have to keep it super, super genuine and super basic. And I want them to come back with a question or an answer or some sort of, of message back to me. I don't wanna throw out all sorts of information to them because it's going to scare them. So usually they come back and they say, yeah, I have thought about it, but I'm scared of X, Y, Z. Girl, I totally feel you, totally feel you. I felt the same way. Let me just send you some amazing information that goes over what all of this means and we can look at it together. And if you have any questions, I'll answer them for you. And just keep that conversation going. I don't sponsor every person I reach out to. Most people tell me no, but I get a lot of yeses. And I think the reason is, is that I am an influencer on my blog, on my business page. I am attracting people in with sharing my life on Facebook. And once I attract them in, I go after them and ask them to join me. Um, and it's not for everybody. Like, let's be real. Like, not every person is going to say yes. Not every person is going to jump on, jump on this amazing opportunity. But if you don't ask, the answer is always no. Okay, I sponsored a new girl this month. And I'm not going to lie, I was a little afraid to message her because she's gorgeous. And we had never really had a conversation, but I was like, I need to reach out to her. And she joined. So you just never know. If I would have never reached out to her, maybe she would have joined somebody else. Maybe she would have come to me eventually. You just don't know. Also, if you're being an influencer on social media and you are sharing your life, you're gonna find people are gonna come to you. 
don't fall back on that, okay? If I fell back on just the people that come to me, I wouldn't sponsor in the numbers that I'm sponsoring. You have to go after and message people without being spammy, without being scary. Um, it's not hard to do. You just have to be yourself. You just have to be yourself. So I hope this has helped. I realize that it's kind of short. Um, I only had 10 minutes. So if you guys want to ask me a couple of questions, I guess I could answer them. I don't think it's been 10 minutes, but I'm not keeping track. Um, I hate cold messaging, but you make it sound easy. Here's the thing, Amanda. I was scared to death of cold messaging people. And here's where I think doing a business page is really important. So on my business page, if people like and follow the business page, they're there to follow along with your journey. They're there to follow along with it. So I'm not scared to message them because they're following along. Do you know what I mean? Versus reaching out to somebody I'm not really friends with on Facebook. For me, the business page has just worked dramatically these last three months. My business has skyrocketed. I haven't sponsored this many people at once ever. And it's because I really am putting my focus on the business page. Um, I had a girl I didn't message you. Yes, see, that happens too. And then you kick yourself where you're like, oh, I should have asked her. Um, yep, you have to reach out. So you message women you connect with. Um, yes and no, Leslie. If somebody is going to like my video where I touched on the opportunity or they're going to comment on it, I'm sending them a message. And because I'm super genuine, they're not turned off by that. I honestly don't, and this is going to differ from a lot of people's other opinions on sponsoring. Some people say, you know, you should really work on that connection first before you offer the opportunity. I disagree um, to a degree because these people are following me on my business page to follow along with what I have to offer, which includes the opportunity. And I talk about it so much that it's not weird for me to send someone a message if they liked that video or they commented. Um, what do you send them when when they agree to more info? Um, Becky, I send them the video that was going around of some black statuses that put they put together. I think it was Kylie Riggler and a bunch of other girls put together an opportunity video. I'm I'm almost positive that it's it's around in the pop somewhere um but yeah that's what I send to people because it goes over like all the bullet points someone who followed me for so long signed up under someone else yeah you have to ask you have to ask and you again you have to be presenting it in a way that it's about them you could join this amazing opportunity and stay home more with your kids. You could join this opportunity and have extra money for things you want to do this summer and not make it about you and not be, join my team, because it just doesn't work. Um, thanks for doing this. Of course, I am so honored that Rachel would even ask me to come on here and do this. I kind of like looked over my shoulder and she's like, she wants me to do this. Like, I am like nobody. But um, could you do a business um, page training? You know what? I might at some point do that. Um, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll do more training. You just never know. Um, yes, I will add that video here. I know that it, it was going around, but I send that as well. Do you have three pages? Okay, so I post on my, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of training on this and then I'm going to go because I don't know how long it's been. So I, um, I use my personal page and I use my business page and I use my Instagram. I do not have a VIP group. Okay. Yes, there are videos in your back office. Those are great videos. Um, people are going to disagree with me about the VIP group, but for me, it just doesn't work. Um, it worked in the beginning and I've been doing this over three years. So what worked for me then is not working for me now. I had to switch it up and I had to move on. So doing the business page, I've seen a huge growth in my business. Um, and here's another tidbit really quick. It's really important to post different content on your personal page. Oh my God, it's been 18 minutes. Okay, I have to wrap this up. Um, I post different content on my personal page than I post on the business page. I have to I have to mix it up. I don't want to bore people. I feel like it's really important to have different content. Yes, they're about the same thing, but they're a little bit different. And you guys can follow along and see everything that I post by following me. Um, I'm just using a camera or a um, f iPhone. I used to be a photographer. All right, guys, I hope that that helps you guys. If you found this helpful, go ahead and give me some hearts. If you watch this on the replay, go ahead and hashtag replay. Rachel, thank you so much for having me on. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.